Hi Flat Earthers, this is Zach. Somebody sent me a video about Mr. Neil Tyson talking about Ramadan and sunsets on the globe Earth. He said that he made some calculations and confirmed them with other scientists. So my friend Chandra or the man and I wanted to see if their calculations are correct according to the globe model and guess what? We got disappointed. So before we do the math, let's listen to what he says. <laughs> so uh, even this morning, this very morning, yeah. uh, I tweeted uh, because today is the first full day of Ramadan, mm -hmm. which is a uh, holy day in the, in the Muslim calendar. And in Ramadan, you fast during the day and you get to eat at night. Okay, so it's 40 days of fasting. It's 40 days of fasting. It's 40 days of fasting. I think 40. Wow. Okay. That's a long time. So, maybe it's not. Whatever the number of days, you're fasting during the day when the sun is up and then you get to eat at night. Well, it turns out I was recently in Dubai where they have the tallest building in the world. Sure. And I did a quick calculation and I confirmed it with others there. And I did a quick calculation and I confirmed it with others there. And I did a quick calculation and I confirmed it with others there. That, in fact, they print separate tables for residents at the top of this building because the sun sets oh. later if you are at the top of that building of than if you are at the base because that building oh, and for you have it up there now uh, that's the actual tweet from the top yeah. uh, uh, this this building is you know 30 percent taller than what the world trade center was it's it's crazy tall and that's a picture i took while i was visiting uh wow. dubai so the sun sets two minutes later two minutes later two minutes later for you at the top, because you're seeing that much farther over the right, earth, over curvature the of the earth. Yeah. Well, they, I don't know if they'd have an answer for that. Well, they, they can't, they wouldn't. Now I'm gonna let my friend explain how we're gonna do this in AutoCAD. Imagine, this is the globe earth, and this is Burj Khalifa, and this is the sun. People in the bottom of the tower have sunset, therefore we're gonna draw a 90 degree line from the bottom of the tower to the top of the sun. That means that people in the bottom can't see the sun anymore as it is less than zero degrees for the viewers. And now we're gonna draw an infinite tangent line that goes from the top of the building to the point of tangency and that means that people on the top can see the sun and all the space over here. Now as the earth spins we are going to spin it one minute to the contrary side which is 15.85 miles in the Tropic of Cancer and as Dubai is very close to it we're going to use that number. We know that the Earth doesn't spin in this direction, but this is just a drawing so you can understand us. So the line that comes from the bottom of the Burj Khalifa after one minute can't see the sun just like a minute before. But people on the top can still see the sun, but they see less than before. So this is how we are going to know what people on the top of the tower are going to see after two, three and four minutes. Mr. Neil Tyson said that the Flat Earthers can't explain that on the Flat Earth model. That is not right, the Flat Earthers explained that many times and all he's gotta do is google it and he will get an answer. But anyways, that's not our topic for today, let's just focus on his math. He said that daytime in Ramadan fasting lasts 2 minutes longer due later sunset. Okay. First off, people in the top of Burj Khalifa know that they break their fast three minutes later than people in the bottom. Three minutes and not two, because Muslims use their eyes to see sunsets and therefore their calculations are correct and you can't debunk that with your science and tell them that what they see is not real. So it's three minutes and not two, and you have no idea what one minute means in Ramadan. So Dr. Al-Haddad unintentionally debunks the globe model with his observations of the sun. You can only debunk him if you go to Burj Khalifa and observe the sun yourself. So Dr. Al-Haddad says that those living on the lower floors of Burj Khalifa 80 and below are to break their fast at the same time as everyone else. And for those living on floors between 80 and 150, the iftar time is delayed 2 minutes. For those living on floor 150 and above, the iftar is delayed by 3 minutes. That means that after every 80 floors, they add 1 minute approximately. So Neil Tyson was talking about the first day of Ramadan of 2016. Ramadan started in June 6, 2016. So according to the globe model, the sun in June 6 was about 94 million miles away. So we're gonna draw the same thing in AutoCAD and see if Neil is right or not. 
Here is the globe Earth. The radius is 3959 miles. And that is the sun and its radius is 432700. And this is the exact distance between them in June 6, 2016. Which is the first day of Ramadan. Now let me zoom in to show you what I've done here. This green line over here starts from the bottom of Burj Khalifa and it ends in the points of tangency on the sun. So that means that people on the bottom cannot see the sun anymore as it is below that horizon line. It is actually at zero degrees. And this blue line starts from the top of the building and it passes through the points of tangency of the earth and it ends here. So that means that people in the top can see the entire sun and this little space over here. And the yellow line is minus 1.08 degrees below the horizon line. Because I checked the sunset in June 6 in Dubai and it was at 7 9 p.m. But when I checked that in Sankalk, the sun at that time was at minus 1.08 degrees below the horizon line. So someone is making a mistake here. I trust the Muslims more because I know that one minute means a lot in Ramadan and they make sure the sun is completely below the horizon line before they start eating. But whoever made this mistake, it doesn't matter to us because we're gonna calculate the difference between each minute so the time is not even important but I drew it anyway just in case someone smart wants to see it. So we're not gonna care about it for now and you will understand why when you see the whole video. Anyway, if you want to see the distance between this horizon line of people in the top and people in the bottom over this distance, then here it is. Now let's move to the Earth. What you see here is a big compass on the building that shows the azimuth. The building is 2,720 feet and what you see here is the tilt of the Earth. That is a precise number that we got from NASA. So when I start to spin the Earth, it's going to be spinning on this axis. Okay, let me zoom in to show you Burj Khalifa. I put a picture there. I hope the graphic is still okay. Well, it's not okay. This always happens with AutoCAD. But that's not a problem. The lines are still in the same place. They just appear distorted because of the graphics. Now, what I'm going to do is spin the earth 0 0.25 degrees to the east, which is one minute. And on the screen, you can see how I knew it's 0 0.25 degrees. So as you can see, the earth is spinning on its axis. I can spin it however I want, but I just want it to spin 0 0.25 degrees. So there you go. Now we're going to move to the sun's area and see what happened there. And as you can see, the horizon line moved up a little bit. It was here, remember? Now it's here. By the way, this little rectangular over here is representing the horizon line of the people on the top of the building okay because as we spin the earth the horizon line will not stay in the same axis so i wanted to draw that horizontal rectangular so you can see it better and these little dots over here are just to mark the movements of the horizon line you will understand that later so let's go back to the earth and spin it another 0 0.25 degrees that means that Dubai went one more minute to the east now we move to the sun again and we will find out that in two minutes the sun is still visible to the people on the top the horizon line was here and it moved to here after one minute and now to here let's see it from this camera the blue line is slightly moving to the right now I'm going to go back to the earth and spin it again. This is going to be the third minute. So I'm going to select the two horizon lines so as not to get confused. Now we spin the earth again 0 0.25 degrees and we go back to the sun to see what happened. So people on the top can still see half of the sun after three minutes. You get that? We're not talking about the people on the bottom anymore because they already had their sunset. Let's take a look at it from this camera. It's still moving to the right as expected. Now let's spin the earth one more time. 
we're gonna do the same thing 0 0.25 degrees to the east okay now we're gonna go back to the sun and bingo after four minutes the sun is still visible you see that so the line was here and it moved to here and to here and after four minutes it moved to here and it didn't pass the sun yet it seems like people on the top should eat after almost five minutes but they actually eat after three minutes doesn't that debunk the entire globe model or someone is gonna come and tell me that the Muslims lie let's say that they lie okay what about Neil Tyson he said after two minutes that makes it even worse for the globe model I thought it was precise. So guys, who are you going to trust? Neil Tyson or the globe model or what the Muslims see or my calculations? If I were you, I wouldn't trust anyone. I would take AutoCAD myself and I would do the right math myself and I would see the difference and I would investigate if the Muslims in the top of the building really break their fast after three minutes or two minutes. And if it's possible, I would go and calculate that myself. So according to the globe model, the sun should set after more than four minutes for the people living on the top of the Burj Khalifa and not two as Mr. Neil Tyson claimed. To the people who don't own AutoCAD, they can also do this in Google Earth too. All you gotta do is open it, click on this button to see the sun. Zoom in to the altitude of Burj Khalifa, which is 828 meters, and then click on this button over here and change the date to June 6, 2016, and the time to 5.09 p.m. Madrid time, which is 7.09 p.m. to buy time, and start adding here the minutes one after another. You will notice that in two minutes the sun is still visible. Even if the glare doesn't help us to see the shape of it, we can tell that in two minutes the sun is still visible. So Neil Tyson doesn't even know how to calculate his own model. But his entire model and his claim are a bit far from reality. Because in reality people living on the top break their fast at three minutes and science can't change that with their cartoons of fake science and wrong calculations. So the Muslims can debunk the entire globe model by their observations to the sun, all they have to do is open their eyes and NASA's game is over. And by the way, Mr. Neil Tyson, Ramadan is either 29 or 30 days cause that's what takes the moon to come back to its place and not 40 days. Thanks for watching.